In this video, we're going over how to mirror your TCL 20XE to your TV. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'll be walking you through how to mirror your TCL 20XE to your TV. I'm gonna show you two methods to do this. The first method is gonna be mirroring everything that is on your phone to the TV. So if you're playing a game, if you're trying to show pictures, anything and everything that you see on the screen is going to show up on the TV. In the second method, I'm gonna show you how to just mirror a video from your phone to the TV. For some of you, I know your goal is to simply play a YouTube video on your TV from your phone or a Netflix video or a Hulu video. So I'm gonna show you an easy method to do that where you'll be able to play the video but still use your phone to send text messages and do other things simultaneously. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and talk about what you need to make this work. So the first thing you'll need to make this work is an HD TV with an HDMI connection. Second, you will need a Google Chromecast. And third, you will need Wi-Fi. Those three things are necessities to make this work. Now, next we're going to go on the phone and we'll need to install the Google Home app. For a lot of you, this app may already be on the phone, but if it's not, you'll go to the Play Store app right here. And we're just gonna do a quick search for Google Home. In fact, if you just type in Home and you hit search, there it is, Google Home. We're gonna tap the green install button to download the app. Now, while this is downloading, I'm gonna slide the phone over to the left here, and I'm gonna be showing you what it's gonna look like on your TV when you mirror it on this side of the screen. Okay, so we're gonna open up our Google Home app just by tapping that green home button. You'll wanna swipe down from the top of the screen and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on, this little icon right here, and make sure you are connected to your home Wi-Fi. Next, you'll need to turn on your TV, and then you'll need to plug in your Chromecast in the back of the TV to the HDMI connection, and follow the steps to set up your Chromecast. It should only take a few minutes. And once you have completed that setup, you should see this on your screen. You'll see a wallpaper with the time, or if you have a newer Chromecast, you won't see a wallpaper in the time. You'll see apps and different things. It just depends on what version of the Chromecast you have. I have an older Chromecast, so mine just shows a wallpaper in the time. The newer ones have all the apps and all the extra options. Um, basically, you just need to make sure TV is turned on and you are switched to the input that your Chromecast is plugged into. Next, we're gonna follow the prompts on the screen here. I'm gonna hit get started, hit okay. Next, I'm gonna select while using the app. I'm gonna skip this. All right, now we're on this screen here. I'm gonna swipe up and find my Chromecast at the bottom. My Chromecast is just named Chromecast 68. I'm gonna tap here. And then at the bottom right corner of the screen, I'm gonna tap cast my screen. Tap cast screen. And then tap start now. And there we go. After a few seconds, you should see your screen mirrored to the TV and now, Anything I do on the screen is gonna show up on the TV. I can open up a game. I could play a YouTube video. Um, this is a great option for those that wanna do instructional. Maybe you're trying to teach someone how to do something on their phone. It's a great option for that. It's a great option if you're trying to show someone your gameplay. Maybe you're playing a, a, a racing game or what, some type of game and you'd like to show the gameplay while you're doing it or you have pictures from a trip and you're trying to show an audience of people and you wanna be able to control them from the phone. Those I would say are the three main uh, scenarios where this would be the best option. Now, if you want to stop the phone from mirroring your screen, 
You're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and we're gonna swipe up just a bit until we see the option that says casting screen. And there's a little arrow in the right corner right next to this microphone. Tap on the arrow and as you swipe up again, you'll now have this disconnect button. We'll tap disconnect and that will stop your phone from mirroring the screen to the TV. So this was method one. Now let's move into the second method, which is how to just play a video from the phone to the TV. So in this scenario, I'm gonna to go to YouTube and I'm gonna find a video to play. Let's dismiss that. Subscriptions. Okay, so I'm gonna play this video here by just simply tapping on it. No. After this ad is over, I'm going to pause the video. And in the upper right corner, you'll see a little icon right here. This is your cast. Oh, sorry. This is your cast icon. Tap on that icon. And then you'll need to select your Chromecast by selecting Chromecast. Now, if you have a smart TV, it may also show up in this list here. In this case, I have my smart monitor, so I can send it to the monitor by tapping that option. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna tap my Chromecast. Give it a few seconds, you should see YouTube show up on the TV. And that video is gonna start playing on the TV, all right? Now the cool thing about this option again is that while that video plays, I can hit the home button and I can then go and do other things on the phone. Maybe I wanna send someone a text message or maybe I want to surf the web, go on social media, take a phone call. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter because the video is gonna keep playing even though I'm doing other things on the phone. And that's why I like this method a little bit better now, you can control what's happening on the TV by using your volume keys. You can also swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see a pop-up of what's playing. So this is the video, the TCO 20 tips and tricks. Um, I can pause the video from here. I can use this little bubble in the center here to drag and move the video along to a different point. And then when I'm finished and I wanna stop mirroring the screen, I'm gonna tap on this little X right here. And that's gonna stop the phone from mirroring the screen to the TV. And that's it. So those are two methods of how to mirror your screen to the TV. Um, again, you will need a Chromecast uh, for the first method, but for that second method, you can do it simply with a smart TV. Um, but that smart TV, again, will need to be connected to Wi-Fi. So just one important thing to note. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.